The following is a presentation of TFNN. Produced every business day, Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man, yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 122. NASDAQ off 12. S&P's down 6.5. Not a bad day, folks, for the amount of uh, points that we had been down. That being said, um, you know, we finished down 3 tenths of a percent in the S&P. One tenth in the Nasdaq and four tenths in the Dow Industrials. Now we were down about double those numbers intraday. That being said, guess what? The market's having a tough time catching a bid topside because you have many of these sectors that you just have selling in, uh, including the transports, the SMHs, uh, the oil uh, in particular is, is a big is a big number. Gold contract, gold contract down eleven dollars and ninety cents, trading at twelve seventy two an ounce. We had oil. We had the gold contract. Test that swing low of last week, 11, 12, 67, 90. It rejected it, had some volume. So coming into Friday, I uh, expect we're going to have some volatility still in that metal market uh, because uh, they've been, we've had lower prices and it's pretty hard to turn that around on a Friday. We have the jobs numbers, uh, 8.30 in the morning. That is going to move markets. No two ways about that. Oil, oil broke with volume. With conviction, it had wide price spread, accelerated volume. Oil's down two bucks, trading sixty-one dollars, sixty-one cents. Oil looks like it wants to try to get into this fifty-eight dollar area. If we have the type of volume that we had out here today, oil can go a lot lower. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note down eleven ticks, one twenty-three oh seven. Thirty-year down sixteen at one forty-seven oh three. And let's go take a look at the ten-year. So we take a look at this ten-year out here. You're back with 1.5 million contracts. I think we're going into 1.7. 1.89, actually. So you're still coming down. You know, you had an expansion of volume, but yet it is lighter volume uh, than we've come down on. You know, so bottom line is that it looks to me like uh, this, this can get down into 123.03. We hit 123.05. And more than likely, when the jobs number comes out, yeah, you'll get some big action uh, in that 10-year. Uh, 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year. What do we have with the 30-year out here? 30-year, yeah, see, this is strong, man. 30-year, uh, down 15 ticks, 260,000 contracts. We're coming into 300,000, I think, 357, I think. 347, 340, 348. Yeah, that's saying that this still wants higher price. Now, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I've had Chris Crawford on uh, before, folks. Um, he's from uh, Fairway Mortgage, Independent Mortgage. He's going to be coming on a quarter past, uh, 20 past four. We're going to be talking about uh, interest rates. We're going to be talking about mortgages. So it's a pretty cool time to have him on because the 10-year, we're still trading out at 2.54. And, of course, what we, what we have had happen... Uh, in the last six months is that those rates have gone dr down dramatically compared to uh, what most of us thought where they were going to go. 
King dollar, King dollar up 180 ticks, trading 97,590. If we go over to King dollar and we take a look at King dollar out here, what you're going to see is that King dollar is trying to get back outside of the top of the consolidation. Now we did 14,000 contracts. That's pretty good contract volume out here. Uh, so I suspect it looks to me like King dollar is going to at least get to that 97,705 number. That's the number uh, when it broke out of its consolidation last week. Pull back inside it, bottom line, drives number's gonna probably have it get back up there, at least test it in the morning. This has been an action-packed week. There's no two ways about it. Uh, Euro, Euro's trading at 111. Now, as we, uh, EX uh, numbers after the close here, we get a lot of them. Um, Expedia, uh, that, the low for the year is $108, the high is 139. Now, this closed at 128. This is trading right now, 122. So let's see what they have to say. Okay, so numbers go like this. The estimate had been, uh, first quarter revenue estimate was 2.69 billion. They did 2.46, so that's a big loss, man. That's, that's a big number. Uh, yeah, they expected to lose money too. This is interesting. So they, they were expecting to lose 37 cents. They lost 35 cents. Man, how is Expedia losing money? I'm just, I'm just curious whether this is a one-time deal or they've been losing money all the time. No, this is a one-time deal. Interesting. Uh, well, they, they, I see. For some reason, this quarter, when you go back, they lost 36 cents this quarter. Last quarter, last year, first quarter, they lost 46 cents. Then they make it up the next three quarters. That's, a, that's kind of intriguing how that works. Um, Sugar Shack, Sugar Shack, oh my God, uh, I love it. Uh, Sugar Shack, that, that brings me back a while. <laughs> that was a great song. Um, uh, the Shake Shack, Shake Shack closed at $62.91. This is the burger place. Uh, bottom line is that right now, what are we trading at? Let's take a look here. This is trading at $66, so you get that baby up $4. And numbers go like this. The same store sales. The uh, estimate had been uh, going up one-tenth of one percent. They're going up 3.6. So that's a good number, man. That's a, that's a big, big number, no doubt about it. Uh, let's see what this stock is. This stock's getting crushed after the close. Uh, Astra Networks, okay. This is cloud computing. Well, this is a high flyer too, man. So this uh, closed at $310. This is trading at uh, 268. You talk about a hammer and holy cow. This is one hammering. Um, look at this, though. Last time with volume. Oh, my God, 268. You got to see this, folks. If you want to just, this price and volume, you want to see something, 268. This is a classic, man. I got to take a picture of this. So if you have my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, folks, you know it's all about price, volume, where it is. This is a classic, though. $310. Last time with volume. Look at this, 268. Where is it right now? It goes from 310, <laughs> sick, to 267. That's a sick one. That is absolutely a sick one. But bottom line, I, I found out over the course of years, that's where they go, folks. That's, you know, they can go up, 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 and as soon as they get cracked, guess what? You go to, right back to the last place with volume. And if this comes down with volume, then you're gonna get a destroyed stock for a, a good period of time until it can basically rebuild build some cars to build those floors. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Chris Crawford. We are going to be talking mortgages.